Hey, Bob Wilson, Lane Team. As you see, we spare all expense on our graphics and uh, continuously try to improve our uh, setup here. So if you got any questions on how we do some of this fancy production uh, work here, just let me know. Be happy to work with you. All right, so Lean Shorts number four. All right, we're talking about Lean Principles here. Um, realize I did not give you, what have we talked about so far? We've talked about customer centricity. Uh, we've talked about flow. We've talked about tact. Uh, now we're going to talk about pull, but I did neglect to show you guys a pretty, pretty fancy picture for uh, tact. So here's a little diagram for tact. Quick review is, uh, you know, uh, obviously if something's not level loaded, moving it to uh, level loaded where we understand what the demand is and uh, what's going on there. So on to our fourth topic. Our fourth principle, we are looking at pull. So what do we mean by pull? Well, what's the opposite of pull? Obviously, push. So in a lot of cases, we push the work we do, okay? Not intentionally, it's just the, the way it gets scheduled. We schedule something, we know when it's going, needs to be delivered, so we drive to that date, um, kind of, you know, irregardless of where our customer is at, um, what everyone else in the project is, uh, what they're doing. And so this idea of, of pushing that work, a lot of times we don't have visibility into what the other teams are doing, where they're at, uh, what the current status is. So this gets, uh, causes problems. So uh, before I forget, let me do a quick, uh, let's do a quick visualization on uh, what does pull look like. So give me just a, a real quick, um, and, well, okay. All right, so here's what we're talking about, from push to pull. Okay, so with that, in a push situation, you know, we're working along, we're, everyone's working hard. We know what we need to do, and we're focusing on executing and delivering to that goal. Okay, problem can be, though, is if something changes with either our customer or with one of the other groups that is also has a deliverable. So we're all kind of working, working along. And so if, a, if another one of those pieces breaks that maybe is a deliverable to us or that the customer needs that piece as well to work with ours, there's a problem. So what we want to look at is getting that, that timing right with our customer so that we're not overproducing. We don't want to produce more than what they need. Uh, otherwise, it just sits there and is wasteful and we've put resources into things that uh, aren't used. So w when we look at pull, a lot of this, again, this gets back to just all the principles build on each other. So, you know, who's our customer? Do we understand, you know, who's looking for what from us? Um, what's the, you know, can we get there smoothly? What's the timing on that element? And then finally, are we in sync to deliver it right when they need it? And that way, as we deliver just what they need, when they need it, just in time delivery, um, that way we're not expending resources on stuff that the customer's not ready for. So producing something ahead of time, uh, writing a module of software that the customer's not going to use for a year. Uh, that's just wasteful in terms of spending those resources. We can put those resources better somewhere else. So uh, again, all of these principles, what we're looking for is use these as a starting point to ask questions around uh, issues, things that are going on. So if there seems to be confusion or you're in a meeting, you know, just run through those, ask questions, you know, do, do I know who my customer is, okay? Um, are we getting there smoothly? Do we understand all of the steps? So we're talking about flow. Uh, what's the timing element? When When is this needed? Uh, how's that going? And then uh, the tact on it. So we got the, the how's our resources spent on that? Uh, and then finally now we're looking, you know, at this pull. So are we pushing this onto them or are they pulling it from us so that you know, we're only delivering what they need when they need it. So, uh, you know, there's different tools we can use to help tie all of these things together. Uh, if you got more questions, shoot me an email, give me a call, uh, or contact uh, the Lean Team in general. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later.